Hey YouTube, Captain Mark here from King's Landing Sport Fishing, Project Salmon.ca. It has been a really long time since I've done a video, and I wanted to do one today um, because I received my uh, torpedo order yesterday, um, both for my charter boat as well as for my company, Project Salmon.ca. And I wanted to uh, kind of go over what I use, what I've purchased, um, and do a bit of a call it unboxing. You'll see I've put it all up behind me. I've got boxes over here. Of, of the products, but I've also got a whole bunch of stuff on my desk to explain like what is the stuff that I use on the boat? Um, what is the stuff I stock and you know, what are some of my recommendations as to how to use it? Um, but before I do that, let's just explain for a second where I've been so it's been uh, it's been quite some time since I've done any videos uh, I haven't really actually done any since the, the fishing season when I was out uh, running the charter boat and that's because I've been really really busy and a good busy uh, you know, many of you know, I started my company project salmon.ca a few years ago offering uh, custom salmon tackle, you know, painting lots of different flashers, lots of different bait heads. And, uh, you know, it's been a good problem, but it's expanded significantly and uh, it's kept me busy. So literally every spare moment I've had, I've been painting. I've been in the shop painting flashers, clear coating flashers, tying fly rigs, tying meat rigs, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, so if you haven't checked out ProjectSalmon.ca, I'm going to recommend you do so. Lots of cool stuff on there if you're a salmon angler. Uh, all of the pricing is in Canadian dollars. So if you're in the United States, um, you know, keep that in mind as it'll be quite a bit cheaper because your dollar is worth a lot more than the Canadian dollar. Uh, the other cool thing I've got, and you know, because the business got, uh, got doing better, I was able to make this work. Um, free shipping if you spend over $150 Canadian. So that's pretty cool. Uh, great opportunity for you to stock up and not have to pay shipping. But what's also neat about Project Salmon, while it started out as a project to really create custom salmon paddles and custom uh, bait heads, it's really expanded. So now um, we're the Canadian distributors for Smart Troll. We have all of our custom paddles, custom bait heads. We've got anchovy heads on there. Um, we've got flies. We've got terminal tackle. We've got torpedo products. Um, my gosh, I'm missing out. So we've got our own planer board now. Um, we've got so much stuff on that site, really trying to create project salmon.ca into a bit of a, you know, call it salmon Mecca salmon website for the salmon angler. You know, I'm out of, uh, the Southern Ontario or Toronto area. And one of the biggest complaints here is that no one really specializes in salmon. We've got some great tackle shops, but they don't specialize in salmon, right? So they've got, they've got a wall connected to bass, walleye, salmon. And a lot of the time when they run out of stuff, it takes a while to get it. You know, I'm really um, mainly focused on salmon. Uh, yes, I do have some crankbaits on there that are work for salmon or for walleye, but really it's about salmon. So that's what Project Salmon is all about. Um, and that's where I've been for this uh, this last probably six, seven months and why I've not been doing videos is I've just been really busy and haven't had the time to do uh, do the videos because I've, uh, I've been painting and running that company and really getting things going and trying to stock up for um, the season. Um, but with that, let's let's get this video started in a second and I'll go over like some of the torpedo products that I have uh, Ordered and how I use them on my boat the King's Landing sport fishing Tierra charter boat um, But before I do that if you're new to the channel Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this video I'm gonna start the videos back up and I think it's a great opportunity for you to uh, To you know if you subscribe you'll get notifications that uh, we've done the video So with that I'll take a sip of my coffee and we'll get started Okay, so torpedo products, where to begin? Uh, I think many people know about torpedo and they think about some of their more mo most popular um, items being a lot of their swivels and their hooks. So maybe let's start with the snaps and the, and the swivels. So the first two, the first two um, items I've got here is these. It's actually the torpedo snaps. And what I've got here is I've got the size three and the size two snaps. These are the two that I use on the boat. These are the two that I um, that I offer on uh, on the website, projectsalmon.ca. I don't offer the size one because I just think it's too small for salmon fishing. If I was a walleye angler, I'd probably use maybe some more size ones, but I think the size two is great for walleye anglers, but it's also great for salmon, trout uh, anglers, as is a size three. So how do I, what do I use these snaps for? I use these snaps for when I'm uh, running a slider. Um, when I'm running a slider on a downrigger, so when I've got a, uh, a cheater or a slider, the side that has the spoon, I will just, and I'll, let me see if I get this closer here for you, I will just run a snap like this without a swivel. 
no swivel, just the snap. That's what I will use on the end with a spoon. On the end that goes to the line that slides up and down, that's where I will put probably the torpedo snap swivel, something like this, like the size three. That's where I'll put those. So snap on the spoon end, snap swivel on the end that goes um, on the line and slides up and down. So that's probably the first product I'll talk about being the snaps. I've got size two and size three uh, of, of the snaps. I use them very uh, interchangeably, honestly. Um, you know, I can get away with a size three or I can get a size away with a size two. I'd say probably use a size two a little bit more, but if I don't have a size two, I'll go with a size three. So that's the first piece, um, snaps. If you're not, if you're putting a snap swivel on both ends, it can work, but I think you actually lose a little bit of the action on the spoon side. So that's why I really like these snaps. That's the first piece. So now if we talk about snaps, let's talk about snap swivels. I love the torpedo snap swivels and I use three sizes of torpedo snap swivels. I've got the size two, the size three, and the size four. There's the size four, the size three, it comes in black. There we go. And the size two comes in black. So when do I use the different sizes? Size two. Size two here, I use that when I'm running small standard size spoons. Something like this, that's when I use the size, uh, the size two. And, uh, and it, works, uh, it works quite well for me, um, does, does that particular one. Now, when, I, when, I, when I'm using a larger spoon, like a magnum spoon, something like the, the larger magnum, that's when I'll flip to the size three. Because the size three, just a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good swivel for that. And then when it comes to the size four, like this one, the size four, I use that for, I'm going to call it everything else. So um, if I am connecting my, my wire line to a Dipsy Diver or a Chinook Diver, size four. If I am connecting my 40 pound monofilament to a Flasher or Flasher Fly, size four. If I've got a weighted steel or a lead core that is connected to a Flasher, size four. You get the point here, right? If it's a lead core with a spoon, chances are it's a tight size two or size three. But that's how I use the different the different swivels, and that's what I kind of wanted to explain to you guys. You know how you know you know how I actually use the different sizes because sometimes that's one of the questions I get. There's three sizes. Which one should I use? You know, I'll be honest. The, the torpedo swivels are strong. You could probably use a size three for a flasher fly or a flasher meat rig, but I find it small and a little bit finicky. I just prefer to size up and go with a size four. Okay, so that's the snaps, that's the swivels. I think the next thing that, uh, you know, our friends at Torpedo are very well known for is their hooks. And uh, they make various different sizes of hooks, but again, I'm talking about salmon angling here. So I'm only going to go over which ones that I, uh, which ones would I use on the, on the charter boat, which ones I offer at projectsalmon.ca. Um, let's go big to small. First, one knot. I use the one knot hook, you guessed it. Mag spoon, mag spoon, one knot hook. So then I've got size one. Where do I use a size one? I use size one on a smaller spoon, like a standard size, or I will use size one um, with flies. And I'll even use size one with meat rigs. So if I got a flash or fly, fly combo, and I'm not gonna run a double octopus, let's say, size one. And then the other one I use is a size two. Where do I use the size two? If I am, so you can use that on a small spoon. I know some people use it on a small spoon. I, I do sometimes, but I typically prefer the size one. But where I will use the size two a lot is when I'm fishing with an anchovy rig. So if I'm running a, an anchovy head like the ones that we offer on the site, uh, you know, if I'm running one of those, I will use a size one that goes you know, call it in the middle of the anchovy and is used to curve. And then I'll have a four octopus stinger. That is when I'll use the, sorry, the size two, uh, the size two octopus, uh, sorry, size two treble from torpedo, but size two, size one and one knot. Those are the three sizes that I use on the boat. Um, if you're a salmon angler that uses spoons, flasher flies and meat, honestly, you probably only need size one and the one knot. 
if you're a salmon angler that uh, runs a lot of smaller spoons and anchovy wigs, then I would add the size two into the mix. But that's what I would recommend for treble hooks. Now, something that's super cool and new from Torpedo, many of you that have been buying off my site for the last 18 months to 24 months would know that I have offered the Project Salmon 4 Octopus because I'm quite a fan of running a double single or a double octopus um, rig with especially my flasher flies and a, and a lot of times my flasher meat rigs. I will put some trebles on the meat rigs, but I'm a big fan of the double octopus. And I offered the Project Salmon uh, double octopus, but I'm probably not going to be offering them anymore. I actually ran out of stock and uh, middle of last season, Torpedo actually sent me a box to test out of their 4 aught and it is a great hook. So I've actually got these 10 packs of the 4 aught um, octopus hook from Torpedo recommend them they're great i used them probably most actually most of the season last year because by the time i got them the season has started i remember actually uh um one of the tournaments uh one of my one of my teammates john sipko he sat there tying meat rig leader after meat rig leader going through boxes of these uh as we were we were converting a lot of the rigs to these uh these torpedo four rod octopus hooks um 10 packs really great on the site right of the ship um if, you, if you're looking for octopus, uh, octopus hooks, I'll highly recommend these. So that's the hooks I use from uh, from Torpedo. There's some other things that I, I, I do use, though, and uh, some of these things are a little bit newer. Um, but Torpedo has been known for their weights. You know, they call these their Torpedo Divers. This one's a heavy one. This one's a 12-ounce. Um, but they also have them in an 8-ounce, a 4-ounce, and a 2-ounce. And these are just like another version of a snap weight. They're just, uh, they're a little bit more aerodynamic. You know, you'll have a small leader, they drop down and they cut through the water. Um, I use snap weights. I'm not going to say I don't use snap weights, but I'm starting to play with these. Uh, and I've actually pulled out the instructions because what's neat about these is they actually come with a dive chart. There's a dive chart. You can see it right there. And they give you instructions how to tie what knots, how to connect them to... Um, how to connect them to the line, but where I have started to use these is um, I started to use them in combination with lead core or in combination with weighted steel. So for example, if I've got a 200 weighted steel that gets me down to let's say 45 feet, I, you know, I want to get it deeper. I can basically add a two ounce snapper, look at the dive chart here and actually get that down deeper. And what that allows me to start doing is I don't need as many rods on the boat. You know, I can, I, so I'm, I'll tell you on my boat, I got 200, 300, 400 weight of steel and I got a 100, sorry, too, and got 100 and I stop right there. I've got a whole bunch of lead cores, but basically, um, what I do is if I need to start getting lines deeper, I just add two ounce weight, four ounce weight, um, whether it be regular snap weights that I, uh, that I offer, I add weights to them and that way I don't have to have all kinds of, uh, of extra uh, rods, reels on the boat. A, they take up a lot of room, and B, they're not cheap. If anyone knows me, I'm a big fan of the old school Dakotas. Like, you can almost pay your mortgage off with those things now if you sell them. Like, they're worth, they're, they're becoming more and more valuable. I, you know, I don't want to start buying another 10 or 12 of those. So by having uh, this combination of running, you know, whether it be my 100, 200, 300, or 400 weighted steel, with a combination of one of these weights, it allows me to start getting it down deeper. Um, there was a period, there was one day last year, um, and actually my, my friend uh, John was on the boat helping me mate that day for a, for a, a charter. And um, we had, I want to say it was a 300 weighted steel that we had added, I think it was a um, eight ounce weight to. So, you know, that was, that was getting it down um, probably like, you know, the 300 plus the eight ounce, I bet you were down 100, 110 feet with a flash or meat rig taking numerous fish. So it's a great way to actually get your presentation really down deep, especially when the thermocline is being pushed down deep and the water is really hot up, up high. And you, you know, you only have, let's say two down riggers. Uh, you're struggling to get a diver down that deep, you know, a longer way to seal a three or 400 with some weight. It will do damage. I will guarantee you that. So that's where I'm starting to use these uh, these weights. And I guess that's a great segue. Um, so then what else am I using? Um, I'm using weighted steel. So here's a here's a spool. Here's a 200 spool. There we go. There we go. Focus in. There's a 200 spool of weighted steel. 
But as I mentioned, I use 100, 200, 300, 400. I offer all of those on the site. Um, I will tell you though, if you are running a 100, you might be able to get away with um, a 30 series reel. I don't recommend it. I recommend a 45 series reel for a 100. If you're going bigger than that into a two, three, or four, you're into a 50 series or bigger reel. Um, I will tell you, like I have a 200 weighted steel on a Dakota 700. Um, I tried a 250 and I just didn't like it. I didn't get enough backer, so I went down to a 200 on a 700. Um, and then basically my 300 weighted steel, my 400 weighted steel, those are on Dakota 800. So again, they need they need some pretty large wheels. Reels. I love this stuff. Um, it is a uh, 0.036 of an inch uh, thickness. Um, they call this the equivalent of 45 pound copper. It sinks about 22 feet per uh, per hundred feet. So I got a 200 here. It goes down about 40, 44, 45 feet. I've tested it on the Smart Troll. That is accurate at a, at a trolling uh, speed of about 2.0, 2.2. It, it is an accurate. It is an accurate depth um, for sure, based on what I've seen and the currents I was seeing on when I when I test typically. What's cool? They also come with a little sticker here that you can put on your reel with the di with the uh, the depth uh, the dive curve on it. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of neat. Um, this stuff's about just under a millimeter thick, 0 0.036 inch or a one millimeter thick. And that's important, and I'll explain why in a, why in a second, because I'm actually going to be testing a new product this year, and I'm super excited about it. Um, but that is the, the, the way to steal. Anyone knows me, I have pretty much thrown away every piece of copper on my boat. I have changed everything the way to steal. It is way more forgiving. It does just as good job, and it lasts a very long time. You get a tangle with a way to steal, it's salvageable. Yeah, it might get a little spiraled, but you can salvage it. You get a tangle on it with a copper, you're often throwing away the copper or cutting out segments because it gets messed up and it's not salvageable. This stuff is salvageable. I love weighted steel. Only thing I use on the boat. Um, the other piece, I, other two things I use from uh, Torpedo, uh, swear by it, is of course their wire. Seven strand wire, 19 strand wire. And I'm going to explain where I use what. Um, most of my diver rods are nine, uh, sorry, are this stuff are seven strand. Most of my diver rods. That being said, I do have two that are 19 strand. If I'm running double divers, I like to have the high divers at the 19 strand. The 19 strand is a little bit thicker. Um, it will, um, therefore it doesn't dive quite as deep and that way it helps me with my separation. You don't have to do this. It's just something I do. Um, the other piece I would say with a 19 strength, it is more forgiving uh, if it gets kinked and they actually put on here, right? The breaking strength of the 19 strength is 40 pound and the knot is 35 pound. And if it's got a slight kink, you can get away with a 30 pound breaking strength. You look at your 30 pound seven strand wire. You, you kink this stuff. It's uh, it's kink strand is zero. It'll snap, right? So the 19 strand is definitely more forgiving. And it's why I like to run this on the high diver. If my high diver gets tangled into a long line or something like that, it's often way more forgiving and can be fixed. I'm not saying it's perfect because it's still a thin wire, but it's a bit more forgiving than the seven strand. But I would say, I'd say I've got two rods that are seven strand. And I think with my diver rods, um, my other probably four or six, cause I got a whole bunch, they're all seven strand. I think about my dad's boat, all seven strand. So definitely I lean to seven strand, but I do have a couple of 19 strand on the boat. That being said, I got a buddy of mine. I, I was talking about my friend, John. He's got four diver rods, all four are 19 strand. It does them just fine. So again, it's uh, it's your own choice. Um, the other uh, thing, I, a couple of things I should mention, um, weighted steel termination kit. If you don't have one of these, buy it, especially if you can use weighted steel. Um, it's good to have on your boat. Just little crimps, shrink wrap, uh, and uh, it's how you can connect, uh, how you can connect uh, the weighted steel to, um, from the way of steel to your line, whether it be your leader or your backer. It's only, I think they're, I can't remember, I want to say they're like eight or nine bucks, I think. Well worth uh, having this kit. And then the last thing I'm going to share that I use from Torpedo before I share the cool new product I'm going to be testing that's not yet available is this stuff, fluorocarbon. This is the 20 pound. So uh, I am known uh, as being a cigar guy when it comes to my heavier uh, fluorocarbon, so 30, 40, 50. But when it comes to the light, uh, the light fluorocarbon that I use for slider rigs, it's stuff that I use on like my uh, my five color, my seven color that I run with spoons mainly for uh, what I call more the charter fish, cohos, rainbows. This stuff right here, torpedo, 20 pound superior fluorocarbon. 
it's a good good quality fluorocarbon works uh, works well. So that is what I've you know called just recently stocked up big time um, for Project Salmon.ca, the online company to to ship out to folks like yourselves, but also for my charter boat. You know you can't see it, but to my right I've literally all my stuff that's going to the charter boat, and I've got a box full of the same stuff I'm talking about here that's going into the charter boat. Um, so basically I'm using the exact same stuff. Now, what else is going on? This is a, this is a bit of a secret um, that I'm about to share. I've already, I checked with Matthew to make sure. So I love on my boat today, I use weighted steel and I use lead core. I, a lot of my lead core rods, they're actually smaller reels. They're Takoda 600s or, you know, I don't have any left, but if I was using like a CV30 or a CW, I think it's a 303 uh, from Okuma, smaller reels, I'll use them for lead core. And I'll, actually, I'll often use those. There's a two color, three color, four color, five color, six color uh, on these smaller reels. And then if I need a seven color, I'll bump that up to like a, a 700 Dakota or a CW. I think it's the four, five, three um, cold water uh, or, and 10 color. Uh, and I use the lead core. And part of the reason I use the lead core is because it's thin. So I've got a caliper here. And I'm going to measure. I've got some lead core here. And this is a... This is actually, uh, let's see, who makes this one? I don't know. This is a tough line lead core, but I use tough line. I've got a big, I've got a spool there of the, um, the Fish USA uh, black red lead core. They're pretty much the same thickness. But if I take my caliper and I put this on the lead core, I'm, a met, I'm, I'm more of a metric guy, sorry. But if I put on the lead core, I really get 0. 0.7 to 0. 0.8 millimeters. That's what I get. I'm not sure if you can see that there. There's 0. 0.8, you can see. Uh, I get thickness. But as I was telling you, Weighted steel is about one millimeter, so they got a new weighted steel coming out. This is a this is a, I got I got a couple of spools to test and play with. I can't wait to use this. They're calling it thirty pound, and I've got a couple of four hundred foot spools here. But what's neat about this stuff is, I take my same caliper, take that, put it on the put it on the the line here. Oh, I just messed up. Let me reset this thing. Of course, my batteries are my batteries are running out now, and it's going crazy. Let me just reset it. Okay, there we go. And it is 0. 0.7 to 0. 0.8. It is the exact same thickness as lead core. It is a it, you know I I don't know what they're gonna market it as. I think they're gonna market it as a 30 pound. I might call it a micro weighted steel. Um, I can't wait to use this stuff. I think it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Uh, when it comes to running it for uh, with spoons, so I'm actually looking this year to take a lot, if not all, of my lead core rods and convert them to this new weighted steel, because my lead core rods typically I'm not running um, flashers on them; they're my spoon rods, and uh, you know this this stuff I think is gonna be absolutely a game changer for spoons, because if you run lead core, and I'm sure many of you have, you know. Um, if you tangle a lead core, it can be quite a nightmare. You can salvage it sometimes, but it being quite a nightmare to, you know, untangle and and save. So and a lot of time I've seen it where you know someone tangles up a ten color, and their the way of salvaging it, the ten color becomes a five color, or it becomes a you know a seven color. What is it? What's ever left? But this is gonna have all that same characteristics of of uh, weighted steel when it comes to this, the the strength, the ability to um, salvage it. Um, you know, won't rats nest uh, or birds nest or all that stuff. So I, I can't wait to use this stuff in place of lead core. Um, so I'm, I'm actually making the conversion. When you think about lead core, the standard lead core, or sorry, when you think about weighted steel, the standard weighted steel that you buy in a pack right now, every 100 feet goes down 22 feet. That is perfect if you're running it with like flasher flies, um, flasher meat, and it's still great for spoons because you get a little bit deeper. But if you got like me some rods where you want to focus in like and uh, convert from your from your lead cores, this stuff I think is gonna be the ticket. It's for every hundred feet out, it goes down eighteen feet. So for example, I can run a uh, hundred a uh, hundred weighted steel of this new um, thirty pound or I'm calling like the micro weighted steel. I can run a hundred and get it down eighteen feet. Um, so that can also so if I think about like a three color of lead that's ninety feet that will get me down 15 feet. So that extra 10 feet I have out is actually gonna get me an extra three feet, right? So that, that that's kind of cool. Um, 
So that's something really new that I'm going to be playing with um, on, on my charter boat all season. I am literally going to take the lead off probably almost all my lead core rods and convert over this. Uh, because, you know, lead core, it, it always seems to get, into, there's always a tangle, customers struggling. And, uh, you know, I, I probably throw quite a bit of lead core every season. I won't be throwing this stuff out. So that's uh, that's what's going on. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I'm super busy. But, um, you know, trying to bring some more videos to you guys now. Trying to get the boat ready um, for the upcoming uh, season. I'm super, super excited. Uh, it's been a great off season for me with Project Salmon.ca. Um, but it's time to get fishing. I can't wait. Um, it's going to it's gonna be exciting. So uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic season. I know this is a bit of a long video, but I've covered a lot of products. Feel free, if you got questions about uh, the Torpedo products, feel free to ask them below. I'm more than happy to answer. I'm usually pretty fast at answering uh, any questions that you may have. Um, and, and we'll go from there. The other thing I'd say is, hey, if there's a particular video you'd like me to cover, um, I'm, I may try and get it done in a few weeks or I may try and get it done once the boat goes in the water. But uh, put me... Uh, Put me, some, put me some feedback in the comment section. I'll try and cover those videos for you. Anyways, that's it. Good luck in the 2024 season, folks. And thank you for listening to the video. Have a great day. Goodbye.